Hmm. God, this stuff seems pretty hard. I hope nobody asked me any questions. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, I hope he doesn't come over here. Oh, no. Oh, here he comes. Uh-oh. Yeah, I got this TIG torch here, and the thingamajig that goes on here don't work no more. I ain't got the watch call for it, the thingamabob, and I can't jimmy read the watch of a who's it. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm willing a low-density thermonuclear, high-intensity titanium duplex corneum molly binum detonator trigger spring and a neon conduct for high-frequency rated custom light tick torch that fits all specifications. Fix it. Having uh, owned and operated a welding supply store for a number of years prior to manufacturing TIG torches, I can certainly understand the frustration. But really, they're very easy to understand. And that's what we'd like to show you within this video. For over a quarter of a century, our company has provided the most complete line of TIG welding equipment in the world. With over 2,500 distributors covering 35 countries, we have earned the reputation as an international leader in TIG arc process technology and innovation. Our company is CK Worldwide. Hi, I'm Sean Delmore, Technical Sales Manager at CK. Gas tungsten arc welding, known commonly as TIG welding, has been around a long time. Dating back to the early 1940s, the TIG torch has been used to weld most metals and alloys where high quality is critical. Over the years, fabricators, shipbuilders, chemical plants, and aerospace industries around the world have come to rely on TIG torches to provide superior weld quality. Choosing the right TIG torch requires actually little understanding about the process itself. However, a basic understanding of the TIG welding application provides you with the information necessary when ordering the right parts for the right job. You see, when you buy a TIG torch, what you are paying for is quality and service life. The most popular torch designs are based on original designs and have become the industry standard from all major manufacturers. These designs include a 2 series or small style torch head or a 3 series or large style torch head. The size of the torch head used depends largely on the area to be welded. TIG torches may be either water or gas cooled depending on the amperage rating desired. Because quality is an important issue to the TIG welder, buying the right TIG torch includes choosing the right TIG torch components. Quality components that increase torch life and or increase productivity are critical to the welder because, after all, saving time means saving money, and saving money means more profit. Let's take a look. TIG welding, like stick welding, is an electrical arc welding process. Both use the same type of welding current and, in some cases, the same welding machines. However, instead of using consumable flux-coated stick electrodes, TIG uses tungsten, which is considered a non-consumable electrode. This is because the tungsten causes the arc, but does not melt and become part of the weld. Simply stated, a TIG torch is a tool that holds a piece of tungsten and supplies electricity to it by means of a copper cable connected to a welding machine. Unlike stick electrodes that use flux to prevent contamination of the weld puddle, TIG welding uses a shielding gas. The shielding gas serves to blanket the weld, protect the tungsten electrode from active properties in the surrounding air, and cool the TIG torch. Inert gases such as argon and helium 
or a combination of the two are the most popular TIG welding shielding gases. Here is an example of a weld being performed without a shielding gas. Notice how the arc is unstable and the impurities in the air cause porosity in the weld. When a shielding gas is added, the impurities in the air are excluded from the weld area. The arc becomes very stable and the weld is free of porosity. Most TIG welding is done with either alternating current or direct current. You will need to reference a TIG arc welding guide to determine the type of welding current most practical for the type of work being welded. Reference charts are available in most TIG welding handbooks. If using direct current, most applications require straight polarity. DC straight polarity means the tungsten electrode is negative. Straight polarity is best for most TIG welding applications because greater heat is concentrated at the work, which allows greater weld penetration and the torch to run cooler. DC reverse polarity with the tungsten electrode positive concentrates most of the heat at the tip of the electrode and is used to minimize weld penetration. DC reverse polarity also produces a cleaning action on metals which have surface oxides. AC current provides the cleaning action necessary to remove surface oxides and also provides acceptable weld penetration. AC current is usually preferred for welding aluminum and magnesium. Keep in mind that TIG welding requires a constant current power source. Most TIG welding power sources now include special features for better TIG welding performance. Be sure to refer to the power source owner's manual to ensure the proper settings for the TIG welding application have been selected. The torch used for TIG welding may be either gas or water cooled. Low amperage or lighter duty torches are usually gas cooled, while high production or higher amperage torches are water cooled. Gas cooled torches are available for welding applications up to 200 amps. There are two types of gas cooled power cables, either one piece or two piece. One piece power cables supply power and gas through a single heat resistant non-conductive hose. A two piece power cable provides a separate hose which supplies gas directly to the torch head. Some users prefer one piece power cables because they are lighter, more durable and incorporate delivery of the gas through the same hose as the power cable, eliminating the possibility of tangled hoses. Others prefer two-piece power cables for ease of installation and maintenance. Water-cooled torches are designed so that the water is circulated through the torch head, cooling it and the power cable. Power cables and hose assemblies for water-cooled torches consist of three components, including a separate water in hose and gas in hose, as well as a separate power cable water out hose. It is important that the water flow out through the power cable to prevent preheating. This also prevents power cable particles from depositing in the torch head. Triflex hoses are bonded together for ease of use, eliminating problems associated with tangled hoses. For requirements above 400 amps, a braided neoprene power cable hose is available and should be recommended to promote longer life and cooler running of the torch. For water-cooled torches, fuse block adapters are available and provide an inexpensive and replaceable fuse link between the power source and the power cable for added protection. If water flow to the torch is interrupted for any reason, the replaceable fuse link inside the block will blow and power to the torch will cease, protecting the power cable. This will prevent the needless replacement of water-cooled power cables. The standard power cable length for both gas-cooled and water-cooled torches is 12 and a half or 25 feet. Power cables can be extended through the use of a cable extension box for water-cooled torches or through the use of a safe lock for gas-cooled torches. These popular extension accessories also allow the operator to extend beyond 25 feet of the power source without cutting down on the duty cycle or amperage rating of the torch. A crucial component to keep in mind is a power cable adapter. A power cable adapter is required when connecting any water-cooled TIG torch or one-piece gas-cooled TIG torch to the power source. Accessories like these have been designed to prevent the high cost of special order items. Before ordering special cable links, be certain a more practical solution is not already available.
The TIG torch power cable, which is connected to the torch head, should be insulated by a non-conductive, heat-resistant handle to ensure user safety. These handles are available with a built-in on-off switch and remote amperage device for fingertip control of the welding process. TIG torches must be completely insulated against high frequency, electrical shock, and gas leakage. Silicone rubber is the best material available for high heat and electrical insulation. Silicone rubber torch bodies will also withstand more physical abuse than hard plastic coated torch bodies. Transferring the electrical current to the tungsten electrode is achieved by means of a collet and a collet body. The size of the collet body depends on the size of the torch head and the size of the tungsten. This is an example of a standard collet body. Two types of collet bodies, either standard or gas lens, can be used. The standard collet body has threads to allow a gas cup or nozzle to be threaded onto it. These holes in the collet body allow the gas to be directed to the weld zone by the cup. A gas lens collet body achieves the same effect, but combines a series of screens that concentrate and direct the gas flow to the weld zone. For difficult to reach weld areas, short series collet bodies allow easier access to tight welding applications. These short series collet bodies are available for standard two and three series heads and shorten the overall length of the head by up to three quarters of an inch. Before you consider a different torch altogether, be certain an easier and more affordable solution is not already available through CK. Now, let's take a look at the torch head. A very important area on a TIG torch to consider is the torch head itself. Notice the fine threads on both the collet body as well as the torch head. A common problem is for these threads to strip on the collet body and in the torch head. This happens because some manufacturers still use copper heads, which have a tendency to gall or strip with copper collet bodies. Using dissimilar alloy materials in torch heads helps prevent stripping, provides excellent electrical conductivity, and will extend the overall life of the torch. A collet, or electrode holder, is a necessary device made to secure the tungsten electrode for electrical conductivity. The collet, like the collet body, works with two and three series style heads and is designed to fit each standard tungsten size. The design of the collet has been the industry standard since 1940. Notice there are slots. The tungsten is positioned inside the collet and both are then inserted into a collet body. As pressure is exerted on the back of the collet, the slots will allow the collet to grip the tungsten, holding it in place. A problem with this old design is more surfaces are needed to conduct electricity to the tungsten. Also, these slots actually weaken the structure of the collet, reducing its reliability in the field. An updated, patented version of this older style collet is now available. Called the wedge collet, this design has no slots to twist or deform, providing longer collet life. The wedge collet can be used to replace most old style collets for use with standard torches. The wedge collet wedges the tungsten directly against the collet body, unlike the old style collet, providing greater conductivity, better art characteristics, and longer collet life. The concept behind all of CK's products is to save the TIG user money by providing products that last longer, thus preventing downtime, and to provide them with products that can increase their productivity. These features are demonstrated throughout the entire CK TIG torch line. In most torches, the back cap is used to tighten the collet against the tungsten. There are three lengths of back caps available, short, medium, and long. Because tungsten is normally supplied in seven inch lengths, each time it is broken, what is termed stub loss will occur. With the long back cap, a full seven inch tungsten can be used. However, many difficult to weld areas limit the use of a long back cap. With short and medium back caps, reaching those difficult areas can now be achieved. The TIG torch head receives a significant amount of heat from the weld zone. The torch head should be protected by a heat shield. Teflon heat shields are available for use with standard collet bodies as well as gas lens collet bodies. 
This replaceable shielding feature protects the torch head from the reflective heat of the weld zone. The heat shield is designed to increase the life of a costly torch head by protecting it with a replaceable, inexpensive item. A nozzle or gas cup that fits the size torch head being purchased is needed to insulate the collet body and help direct the gas flow to the weld puddle. The gas cup generally screws onto the collet body and makes a seal against the heat shield to prevent gas leakage. The inside diameter or orifice of the cup is measured in sixteenths of an inch. For example, a number four cup represents four sixteenths or a quarter of an inch diameter. A number ten cup represents ten sixteenths or five eighths of an inch diameter and so on. White colored cups are generally machined from a mineral material referred to as lava or ceramic. These cups break very easily if dropped, but are ideal in high heat or high reflective heat situations and will not crack when subjected to rapid cooling. Pink cups are molded from aluminum oxide and are usually best for standard welding operations. These cups are impact resistant, but do not have the efficient heat properties for high heat situations. A unique patented CK front end called the gas saver is available for use with push-on style aluminum oxide or Pyrex glass cups. The glass cups provide better visibility of the weld zone and are excellent for hard to weld areas. An extension feature which allows long glass cup links to be used is available with this revolutionary front end. The gas saver front end assembly also has the benefit of saving the user up to 40 percent of shielding gas consumption and provides gas lens shield gas coverage patterns without the added weight typical of standard gas lens designs. An additional advantage is this design uses replaceable interchangeable adapters which reduces inventory. Hi, I need a shorter cup for my TIG torch to reach a tight welding spot. Do you have anything like that? Sure. Have you tried a smaller collet body? No, what do you mean? Well, CK offers a short series of collet bodies which allows the user to use smaller cup sizes. Now that you've had an introduction to the basics of what makes up a TIG torch, it is important to become familiar with various gas-cooled and water-cooled designs. Literally dozens of TIG torches are available starting with an 80-amp gas-cooled model and increase in amperage rating through a 500-amp water-cooled design. Rigid neck or flex neck designs give the welder greater versatility for improved access and comfort. Also, many specialty torches are available for areas of limited access or special application. Other video programs such as this have been designed to help you with your selection. We look forward to hearing from you.